I would like to use as the subject of my talk this evening, the future of integration. And that is a desperate and even poignant question on the lips of thousands and millions of people all over our nation and all over the world. It is a question of whether we have made any real progress in the area of race relations. I always try to answer that question very honestly by saying on the one hand that we have made some significant strides in race relations, but that we still have much to do and that there are many problems that are unsolved. Modern psychology has a word that's probably used more than any other word in psychology. It's the word maladjusted. And certainly we all want to achieve the well-adjusted life in order to avoid neurotic and schizophrenic personalities. But I must honestly say to you, my friends, that there are some things in our country and some things in the world to which I'm proud to be maladjusted. I must honestly say to you that I never intend to adjust myself to segregation and discrimination. I never intend to adjust myself to religious bigotry. I never intend to adjust myself to the madness of physical violence and the self-defeating effects of militarism. Perhaps there's need in our world for the creation of a new organization the International Association for the Advancement of Creative Maladjustment. <laughs> People who will be as maladjusted as Thomas Jefferson, who in the midst of an age amazingly adjusted to slavery, could scratch across the pages of history words lifted to cosmic proportions. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. We are going to achieve justice because Carlyle is right. No lie can live forever. We are going to achieve it, and with this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. And we will be able to speed up the day when all of God's children, white people and black people, Jews and Gentiles, Catholics and Protestants all over America will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Thank you.